look at a few extra examples on dealing with population mean, sample mean, and the population distribution and sampling distribution. Okay, so let's say we just have a population of six numbers here. We want to find the population mean, which is mu. Well, I'm going to add up all these numbers, 15 plus 13 plus 8 plus 17 plus 9 plus 12, divide by 6. This gives me 28, 36, 53, 62, 74. So I have 74 divided by 6. And this just gives me 12.3 with a line over it. So it's 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. OK, now suppose we take a sample size 4. And the following numbers are part of our sample. 13, 8, 9, and 12. We want to find the sample mean and the sampling error. So the sample mean is x bar. And we're taking 13 plus 8 plus 9 plus 12, and we're dividing this by 4. Well, we have 21, 30, and 42. Divide by 4, and this gives me 10.5 for my sample mean. Now, the sampling error is going to be the sample mean minus the population mean. So I'm taking 10.5, and I'm subtracting out that 12.3 with the line over it. And this gives me, uh, it should give me negative 1.8 with a 3 with the line over it. So negative 1.8333333. OK, now suppose the 9 is mistaken as a 6. So here's our wrong sample. Now what we want to do is we want to find the non-sampling error. So my wrong sample mean is x bar. So I add up these four observations and divide by 4. So this gives me 39 divided by 4 or 9.75. So my non-sampling error, I'm taking that wrong mean minus the right mean. And this should give me negative 0.75 for our non-sampling error.